Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? The ever impressive. But never duplicate. <laughs> ah, nice and clean. Took me two days to reorganize and clean up all the dust that was in this room, but finally it's clean. Yeah, my shop vac was being restricted. Underneath the filter is a black ball. And the black ball is supposed to be for, I guess, when you tips over, it closes up the hole that does the suction. Well, this was restricting a lot of the airflow, so I was able to remove it. And I was able to clean up everything inside here. So, I have got a plan for that. And I'll open it up and show you in a minute. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C. here. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So, the Snake Pit, Snake Pit, Wannabe Gibson Les Paul guitar. Well, all I could say is the only thing that's left of that guitar is this. So what I ended up doing is I took some 1500 grit sandpaper. Now 1500 grit is really not that aggressive, but it will end up taking um, a lot of the imperfections out of a finish, a clear coat, and uh, it's a little bit more work than using, say, like an 800 grit. So what I ended up doing is wet sanding the top of the body, getting all the dust and crap off of it. So I ended up taking some, uh, you know, my microfiber cloths, wiping off the water and stuff, and then I took an air can, just like this, probably the exact one, I've got two of them sitting over here, uh, went around and kind of blew underneath the Snake Pit logo over here, and it took this completely off. Now, as you can see on the bottom of it, where it's kind of white and kind of chipped away and stuff uh, around the edges. It also took a nice chunk of the finish off of it as well. Uh, underneath the finish, as the advertisement says on eBay when I purchased that guitar, that it's supposed to have a, um, a veneer, flame maple veneer underneath the finish. It's not. It's an actual photo. And if you go back in the beginning of this video, you'll actually see where uh, I stripped the top, thinking that I was going to be able to maybe uh, just restain it and uh, you know, re-clear it and, and put this back on. But this got damaged. There's a chunk missing over here, and there's a chunk missing over here. It looks like this was just a water decal over a piece of plastic. That's kind of what it looks like. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it's also damaged here and here as well. So that's the end of the Snake Pit guitar. And all I have to show for it is a fucked up husk in the other room. And this logo here. Yay, right? So that's the end of that. Again, cheap Chinese crap that, you know, sometimes you get lucky. Uh, sometimes you don't. And... When you get one that is like, you know, really fucked up, you really get discouraged and you don't want to work on it. And I really, that one there really got me discouraged and I'm not going to end up, it was a big disappointment. Uh, all the other chips that I ended up getting, now this was from a different seller on eBay. So not all factories are the same. And uh, 
their quality control definitely is not the same as others. So I have a plan. And a lot of you guys are going to think I'm crazy. Uh, I know one person who thinks I'm mentally insane or mentally unstable. Uh, this case here. This case is not for the guitar that is inside of here, uh, but it does work. And it's not all that great of a case. There's some zipper stuff over here that I have to either glue back in, tuck back in, or sew back in somehow. Um, it doesn't look like it was glued. It might have been just sewed. So I got to kind of fix that. But it's a decent case. It's pretty bulky. What's inside this case is what is going to be the giveaway that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be a number giveaway. And it's going to start today. So in the comments below, uh, put in a number. And I will end up uh, picking that number. I'm going to do that at the end of the month. So today is what? The second? And the end of the month, hold on, is what? Let's see here. All right. So as of Thursday, March 2nd, 2023, to March 31st, 2023, that'll be the end and the beginning, or the beginning and the end, of the contest for this. So like I said, it'll be a number contest. It'll be number generated on my iPad or phone. Um, and that'll give me the winner of what's in this case. Now, it's only U.S., sorry guys, because it costs so much to ship out to anything overseas, anything in the U.K., it just has to be United States only. It is, the shipping prices right now have went up just like everything else has gone up. It was worse during Christmas time. It's kind of backed off a little bit, but not by much. Uh, and again, like I said, some of you guys are going to think I'm crazy, and one person who really thinks I am mentally uh, unstable. Now, I did look up this guitar online. I did see the prices that this goes for used, uh, depending on condition. And I have to say, this thing is in, like, tip-top condition, like, basically, basically brand new. So what are you guys going to be, like, competing for here as far as trying to get the winning number? This is a 2021 Ibanez Encore. This is an AGS-8. Wait, let me get my glasses. I can't see. All right. So this is a Ibanez Encore series model number AGS-8 3B-8 ATF. 1201 and you can see that it is basically a uh, <laughs> it's a flame maple all the way through semi hollow body there is a wall inside here so this chamber here and this chamber here are open uh, it's in like pristine condition I mean the fret ends are really good I do have to polish up the frets a little bit they did get a little bit dirty uh, two humbuckers no coil splitting or anything else. This thing is basically bone stock. I really didn't do anything with it when I got it. I really didn't have to. Here's the back of it. It's got a three-piece neck. Really nice. A little dusty. And, uh, yeah, it could be yours if the number is right. So it's a beautiful guitar. And it's the least guitar that I go to to play. All right. This thing is kind of like a... Um, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It's not my style. You know, I purchased it thinking that I would like it. Um, the body is a little bit too bulky. You know, it's not quite the Les Paul size. It's a little bit bigger than that. The thickness is about the size of a Les Paul. Um, just not my style. Not my style of a guitar. It is a, I want to say mahogany body. It kind of looks like a mahogany inside there. But yeah, 
two F holes. I never took off the pick guard on it. I kind of like this pick guard. I don't like pick guards, but since this pick guard matches the body and is angled the same direction as the flaming is on this guitar, I mean, it's got a beautiful flaming. It's a matte finish, so it doesn't, it's not all glossy. Even the headstock has a matte finish. Big headstock on this thing, by the way. Um, I left it on there because it matches the body. It's not a different color. Nice inlay work on the fretboard. Uh, again, you know, it's just something that I'm. I don't play. I'm not interested in. It. Oh, look, a tag it's made in China. Well, that's the case. So yeah, I don't know if there's anything in the box over here. Yeah, there's a truss rod adjustment wrench inside the. So yeah, this will be a. Oh, I did put a roller bridge on here. That I ended up doing. Um, don't know if where the other bridge is or even if I still have the other bridge but I did put a locking Wilkinson's roller bridge on here this is not a floating bridge so yeah if you want part of this it's going to be all this month you can fill in whatever number only US uh, mailboxes only and uh, I'm not going to put a limit well no I am going to put I have to put a limit because then I'll screw me up with the uh, with the um, uh, number generator. So let's go from uh, one to say four thousand. Let's let's put it to you that way, one to four thousand. So yeah, nice deal. I am crazy. I wouldn't call myself uh, mentally unstable, but I know I am crazy at times. At least I was. Kind of calmed down a little bit after I had a kid. So yeah, okay. So you guys, good luck. Get in on this if you really want it. It's a nice, nice fucking axe. Uh, there is nothing wrong with it whatsoever. No cracks, no chips, no dings, no dents, no nothing. And if you guys out there uh, who have won guitars from me in the past know that when I say that the guitar is in good shape, it's in good shape. So you guys take it easy. Have a good one. Good luck. And uh, yeah, get on, get in on this thing, man. It's a good deal. Free guitar. Come on.